Hi friends, I am Dr. Pratap Singh Rato. I have done MD in Forensic Medicine. And today we will discuss about radiation injuries. Exposure to radiation can occur by any of, any of the two mechanisms. First, when the person is exposed to the source of radio, radiation that is such as any uranium, radioactive uranium. Second mechanism is by when uh, the air, when the uh, surrounding area is contaminated with radioactive materials like dust of uh, radioactive materials uh, is exposed in the air or debris of radioactive materials mixed with in fluids or drinking water. Extent of damage to radiation exposure depends on different factors like quantity of radiation delivered to the body, which type of quantity is delivered, dose, rate of dose, so how much radiation is exposed to the person is exposed, organs exposed. So radiation usually gets is more uh, causes more damage if the if the or, organ which is in the state of multiplication like bone marrow it causes more damage then type of radiation usually the uh, common types of different types of radiation which is expo which comes from a, any radioactive materials includes the alpha beta particles in gamma rays among this gamma rays is the most lethal and very uh, can cause may more damage Others, other radiation includes X-rays or neutrinos can also cause damage to the radiation type injuries. Next factor includes duration of exposure. So immediate uh, small uh, exposure to radiation may not cause so severe damage, but if the person is continuously exposed to this type of radiation, it can cause severe damage and may also lead to. Then amount of energy transferred by the radioactive wave is also uh, can also affect the damage caused by the radiation radiation. Okay, coming to effects of radiation, radiation exposure does not present any immediate effect unless it is exposure is severe. Serious medical problems only occurs when after years of exposure. Acute symptoms include nausea, vomiting and malaise. Severe exposure may present with burns, illnesses and death usually caused by beta gamma, gamma rays. Radiation can of various sources, it is defined divided into ionizing radiation and non-ionizing radiations. Among these ionizing radiations is commonest uh, radiation which causes say, damage to the skin and other things. Non-ionizing radiation includes EV rays, visible light from the sun, infrared rays, microwaves. These are non-ionizing in the sense they do not interfere with the internal uh, cell metabolism. mechanism. Coming to ionizing radiation, which is the commonest form of uh, injuries caused by ionizing radiations. Ionizing radiation can produce radiation injury by tearing the atoms and molecules of a substance. So, whenever this radiation, usually the gamma waves, whenever enter any atoms or substances, they uh, cause tearing the atoms and the molecules. When this type of radiation passes through living cell, it can damage the cell by tearing apart the chemical makeup of the cells, which loses its ability to function and ultimately dies. So usually this type of radiation affects the DNA molecule where the protein molecule is broken down and because of that the mutation occurs in the cells and because of these mutations the cell may die or cell may get mutated enough that can lead to formation of cancers. Cells and tissues which are growing rapidly are highly sensitive to radiation. So since the, the DNA at the time of multiplication is usually split up. So these are very susceptible to radiations and these are usually highly sensitive to radiation. Mainly the like bone marrow cells are susceptible to radiation exposure. Ionized radiation can come in form of different electromagnetic waves usually given off by sun, x-rays, machines and radioactive elements like uranium. This uh, fetus and children are more susceptible since they are in stage of growing stage and uh, stage uh, the cells are in multiplication stage so they are more susceptible. Amount of changes and disabilities are more likely with a dose of above 500 to 50 to 100 rads of radiation. Hemopoietic cells, PS cells of small intestine, gemellar epithelial cells of testis, and cornea high sensitive to high sensitive radiation compared to muscular tissues since they are constantly multiplying. Coming to source of ionizing radiation, they can be categorized into natural source, intentional. Accidental and therapeutic sources. Natural source of ionizing radiation usually comes from the sunlight and cosmic radiation. So uh, they are very fraction of ionizing radiation, very small fraction of those are ionizing. Sunlight, mostly visible light, is present. Even though there is visible light, 
but a radiation of higher frequency like ultraviolet radiation is harmful to the skin and it can be just by stepping out, outside the outside and exposure to sunlight can cause damage can damage by exposure to ionizing radiations cosmic rays are similar to sunlight in that they are always present around us though they are not visible can also cause uh, can co also contain ionizing radiation can also uh, also form of ionizing radiation Coming to intentional exposure, in this the person get intentionally can get exposed to uh, ionizing radiations. So this is very uncommon since nobody wants to get exposed to radioactive material. But it, it is seen in mainly because when the person get exposed to nuclear weapons like hydrogen atomic bomb explosions. So this is typically seen in victims of World War II. Other is a common example where the in, there was intentionally the uh, People were exposed to ionized radiation caused by the explosion of hydrogen bomb. Accidental exposure occurs when the person is exposed to ionizing radiation by mistake. When there is a research lab spillage, where the uh, in labs are where they usually handle irradiated materials, if there is spillage, they may get exposed to ionizing radiation. Or in case of nuclear reactor accidents, where uh, nuclear in nuclear reactor where they use the radioactive material for generation of electricity, then sometimes accidents may lead to uh, accidental exposure. Common examples of example include Chern Chernobyl ex uh, accidental exposure, where many people died because of radiation injuries. Therapeutic exposure. Therapeutic exposure to air occurs mainly in during very medical medical procedures. Where radioactive elements and ionization may have many values, valuable applications in diagnostic and treating disorders. Diagnostic therapy doses of radioactive elements, tracer elements are given to patients which may, which may be applied by external beam using radioactive cobalt or supravoltage therapy for treatment of cancers. Both the radioactive tracer elements are used for both therapeutic as well as diagnostic procedures. Diagnostic includes like x rays or use of iodine for. Yes, visualizing internal obstructions are used for diagnosing and therapeutic also is used by using of radioactive cobalt for treatment of cancers. So this may sometimes can cause skin skin damage in form of depletion and erythema of the skin, which may later produce blistering and discoloration of skin exposure when caused because of treatment by radioactive material. Coming to effects of ionizing radiation, acute that is immediate effect on the different part of the body includes. On skin and mucous membranes, the ionizing radiation may cause erythema, epilation that is loss of hairs, destruction of fingernails, or epidermal lysis can cause. In the hemopoietic tissues, there may be bone mass suppression, which may lead to decrease in blood count. In CVS, it may cause pericarditis with effusion. Reproductive state may cause asomatogenesis, which may lead to sterility in male and as well as female. Then there may be cessation of menses or abortion because of exposure of radiation the child in the fetus may die and may lead to abortion in respiratory system it may cause linitis in gi it may cause mucositis in liver it may cause hepatitis and in the renal system it may cause nephritis cause of damage to cells systemic reaction which is also called as radiation sickness occurs when so when the localized when there is systemic effects are seen when x ray is in case of x ray therapy it is given in the abdomen Symptoms sometimes like anorexia, nausea, vomiting, weakness, exhaustion, lassitude, and sometimes, sometimes post may occur. There is cases of dehydration, anemia, and infection also follow in case of radiation sickness. Death usually follows when the whole body is exposed to lethal dose of radiation. It is usually caused because of hemopoietic failure, that is, bone marrow suppression, person may be unable to. Uh, develop more new cell, uh, new hemopoietic cells that use RBCs and the WBCs. Then it may be because of GIT, GI mucosal deep damage, sinus damage, widespread vascular injury, or second infection. So many of the risk reasons may lead to the person to die when the person is exposed to lethal dose of ionizing radiation. Regular aspects of ionizing radiation injuries death is usually accidental, uh, suicide and homicide is very rare. Doctor who is treating with the radiative material should be very careful. There is chance that higher doses may cause some damage and the person or patient may sue the doctor regarding negligence. 
in case that due to uh, that due to radiation exposure the person who is handling that body has to be has to wear protective measures like gloves plastic apron spectacles and plastic shoe covers because radioactive material doesn't get uh, depleted immediately and they are active even the person has died and may emit radiations like gamma gamma rays these are my references thank you